Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of functions. And in this question, we have been told that f of x is nothing but cos of log x. And after giving this function, we have been asked to find the value of f of x into f of 4 minus half of f of x by 4 plus f of 4x. So we have been asked to find the value of this entire expression that is given to us. Now, one more thing that we have been given with is the four options a, b, c and d where they say a is 0, b is given to us as 2 cos of log x, c is given to us as 1 and d is given to us as 2 cos of log x and cos of log 4. So we have to find out which one of the, of the four options that are given to us is correct. Let's do that. So first of all, let's find all of these functions that we have been asked for separately and then we'll put the values of the functions which we get in this entire expression. So we have been given f of x directly. So I'll write that cos of log x. Now, after that, we have the second function that is asked for f of 4. So basically, instead of x, now I'm going to put 4. So I get that as cos of log 4. Further, we have been told f of x by 4. Now, instead of x, I'm going to put x by 4. So it becomes cos of log x by 4. Now, we know already one idea that says log of a by b. That is nothing but log a minus log b, right? So I can write this entire expression as cos of log x minus log b. And further, we have been told f of 4x, f of 4x. So instead of x, I'm writing now 4x. That is cos of log 4x. Now what I get here is, again, I can use the idea log a plus log b, whenever there's some of the two logarithmic functions, we know it is nothing but product of the two. So a into b. So in this case also it becomes cos of log 4 plus log x. Now let's try to solve this further after putting all of these ideas into this function which is given to us. So if I write that expression, which is asked for f of x into f of 4 minus half into, we have been told f of x by 4 plus f of 4x. So now if I put all the values which I have here already with me, so f of x was cos of log x into cos of log 4 minus half f of x by 4 we already know that is cos of log x minus log 4 so cos of log x minus log 4 plus f of 4x is also known to us cos of log 4 plus log x now let's solve this so we get cos of log x into cos of log 4 minus half. Now I have cos A plus cos B here. So I can use the idea of factorization that says cos A plus cos B is nothing but 2 times cos A plus B by 2 and cos A minus B by 2. Right? Now, if I use this entire idea, I get this entire expression. So cos of A plus cos of B. So this is A. 
this is b. So you get two cos a plus b upon two. So if I add this and this log x minus log four plus log four plus log x. So log four log four gets cancelled. You get log x plus log x two log x. So two log x upon two and cos of a minus b by two. So log x minus log four minus log four minus log x. So log x log x gets cancelled. Minus two times log four upon two. So two and two gets cancelled out here. I am left with cos of log x into cos of log four minus. Here you have cos of two and two gets cancelled, so you have log x. Here you have cos of minus log four, but we already know the idea that says cos of minus theta is nothing but cos theta. So you get that entire idea now. So cos of minus log four becomes cos of log four. So we get the idea here that this is since both of them are the same terms. Both of them get cancelled because cos of log x into cos of log 4 minus cos of log x into cos of log 4. And that gives you the answer as c. So we have been asked to find the value of this entire expression. And we get the answer for this entire expression that becomes 0. So if you see the option that matches here with the answer is a. So a is the correct answer for the question. I hope you have understood how to solve these types of questions or functions. You just need to put instead of x, 4, x by 4, and 4x. Further simplifying this and applying the rule of factorization, we get both of the terms same. And since there is a subtraction between them, that gets cancelled and gives us C. So A becomes the answer for the question here. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, share these videos with your family and friends who are also involved in the preparation of IITJW. Thank you.